Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Tarot. This is going to be a weekly reading for the sign of Scorpio. Um, if you come across this reading at a later date and it resonates, then perfect. That's when you're meant to hear the message, but um, that's just when this is going to be recorded. Um, as always, these readings are for a whole bunch of different people. So, um, you know, it may or may not resonate. You can take bits and pieces of the story that apply to you. Um, but don't make anything fit that doesn't as well as the characters in the story can always be vice versa to be anybody else in your life that you're dealing with all right so um yeah so scorpio for this week it is officially scorpio season i believe i'm a scorpio my birthday is in nine days all right scorpio for this week We have polarity. Integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. Hope. Stay positive. The works is behind you. Look up at the light. It's like someone, it's like almost somebody's kind of dealing with some sort of shadow side stuff. It's like you're trying to stay positive, but like it's almost like the dark energy is like peeking out. Right, Scorpio for this week. This is flipped over twice and keeping it. All right, so we have a win-win outcome. A win-win outcome is forca forecast. I've totally been reading some of these cards and I've totally realized this today. Anyway, full moon in Libra. Um, a win-win outcome is in your forecast. See, that's the way you pronounce it, is forecast. So, and a new star is coming, new moon. It's like, it's like you are kind of doubting that it's your time, which this really goes along already with the reading from last week from Scorpio. Um, it was kind of about like, this is your time. And it's like, you might've been dealing with a kind of um, down, sad time where, you know, maybe things weren't going your way, whether that had been in love or career or anything like that. Um, but uh, yeah, Scorpio. Scorpio, please. <laughs> That's the creepiest sound ever. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Dun, dun, dun. And then, okay, which this came out last week for Scorpio, which I said was concerning because I'm not looking for children. <laughs> Sorry, I remember the Scorpio readings more, obviously, because that's when I'm born. But anyway, children, your love life is being affected by children. So, I mean, it literally, like, it looks like whatever you've kind of been waiting for, whoever this person is that's coming back, it seems like you've kind of been waiting for them and losing out hope. Because um, it's like, you know, integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without the dark. It's like you kind of had to go through a bad time almost right now. Um, per se, stay positive. The rest is behind you. Look up at the light. New start is coming. Win-win outcome. Like, if you've been wanting someone to come back, like, they're coming back. Also, I believe it's Mercury retrograde coming, too. Um, those children, you know, you could be having a child with this person. You could already have a child with this person. They could have children from previous relationships. Also, could be animals. As you see, there's animals here. So, all right. All right. Scorpio. Scorpio, please. Whoa. I've been good today. I haven't dropped too many cards. You 
can't go back to yesterday. Be in the present. So, okay, I'm going to read this um, description because this deck is new. Oh, good lord. It's like the last card in the deck. Is it? No. All right. In the griffin added come let's hear some of your adventures i can tell you my adventures beginning from this morning said alice a little timely but it's not used going back to yesterday because i was a different person then in this lovely moment alice is being asked to recount her adventures for the griffin who longs to hear them and jen is in, is genuinely interested alice would love to share too but she knows if she talks a great deal about what happened and where she was from she will never truly be able to move forward and find out who she is now and that she has changed within the world of wonderland interesting so it's like so i mean obviously we have someone coming back from the past here right so basically but we have a new start right so if this person does come back in the past which it seems like they're supposed to come back with all this kind of positivity here, it's like don't kind of hold on to any sort of grudges um, or past hurts or anything that happened with that person. It's like if you want to be able to move forward to this new start right here, um, you can't like dwell on the past. You know what I mean? Okay. Oh dear. We're going to keep this one front and center because, yeah. Okay, Scorpio, please, for the sweet. <laughs> one more please yay yeah okay so so you've been stressed about this you know like we have here integrate your shadow side there can be no light without the dark understand the law of polarity you've been dealing with some sort of struggles um from dark night of the soul type of thing maybe right now wondering you know possibly when this person is going to come back you know this doesn't necessarily have to be a person from the past either it could be you know just somebody new but you've been wondering where this person is um so you know this five of cups here it's like it's a little different in this um but the in the regular tarot um the three spilled cups are kind of in front and the two standing up are in the back and it's like you're kind of focused on the tipped over cups and not when you easily could just turn around and look at look at what's positive and standing upright. Um, so that's kind of the thing here. It's like kind of, you know, have hope and stay. Um, stay kind of in the positive and don't worry. Don't um, kind of with, with this card, don't kind of dwell on like the past, like negative things like look, you know, turn around and look forward to this new start with the future. Okay, then we have the Four of Pentacles, which is holding on to something. So you probably were holding on to this connection, I would say. Um, we have here the Page of Wands, which could indicate possible communication, um, which would go along with this reconciliation. You know, it may come out, may start, um, what am I trying to say? It may start out small with just a little chat, and then maybe this person will ask you to meet up or something like that. Um, why is this Nine of Swords? I feel like both of these wanted to come out, yeah. Six of Pumpkins, Six of Pentacles, which can be like kind of balanced. And we have again, Page of Wands. So there's two pages of wands here. So strong feeling of communication here. You've been sad possibly because you've been waiting for someone to have a um, conversation with you. Maybe there's been no balance in communication. Maybe um you were reaching out to this person all the time or vice versa and they weren't responding or they weren't uh maybe maybe making oh god I can't talk. maybe they weren't um making the person move 
So it looks like there might be that um, some sort of balance coming with communication now, but it's like it's definitely been stressing you out that there's been an unequal balance in the communication. Um, I just have a cups here. Oop. Hold on. I just saw the four of pentacles, which is funny. Um. Oh, that's the five of cups. That's funny too. Why is the five of cups here? Queen of wands, ace of wands, new kind of passion, both like passionate wands. Um, so it's like, yeah, it's like, it's like turn around and kind of focus on this new beginning and stop focusing on the tipped over cups or whatever, you know, happened in the past right here. All right. Why is the page of wands? Oh, four of wands. <laughs> yeah. Four of wands. There's been a lot of mm, twin flame type of vibes here. It's like, I'm trying not to go with that but a lot of this kind of these readings have very much indicated that so that might be coming for a lot of different people um in this next few weeks or so um you have page of wands with the four of wands which is kind of marriage commitment 11 11 card twin flame and it's just past 11 11 that's weird <laughs> anyway so um there might be some sort of communication about commitment why is the four of pentacles here justice for five of pentacles. justice for it was five of pentacles leaving someone out in the cold so um you've probably been holding on to the fact that this person may have left you out in the cold but you cannot you have to you have to let go of that kind of mindset and move forward to this new start and um it looks like they will probably give you justice for you know why they left you out in the cold po apologies or something like that um, but as long as you can let go of the past then this new kind of start reconciliation will come to you Anyway, that sounds very positive for your birthdays. Um, if this was helpful to you and um, you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up on this video. Um, please subscribe if you would like to see my future videos and please hit the bell notification if you would like to be notified. Um, I hope this was helpful to you and happy birthday to all the Scorpios out there and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.